All right, we have our operating system set up and ready to go. We've got our computer is now, our host computer is now connected to our printer. Let's go ahead and run the software. So I've started it up. Note that the button still says preview. That's because even though the software is running and the printer is connected, we have yet to actually configure the printer. So to do that, we'll go to Settings, Printer Management. Now, right at the top, uh, you see Active Printer Port, and it says COM8. Uh, there's a drop-down box. If you have multiple printers uh, available, you'd want to actually select the COM port that that printer is uh, connected to. But typically, there will be only one, and it'll be pre-selected. In our case, it's COM port 8. If for some reason that, that drop-down box is blank and there's nothing to select, it probably indicates that either the USB cord is not plugged in or that the drivers for the uh, printer weren't installed properly during the installation of the software, and you'll need to refer to tech support for that. Uh, the next box is the current printer configuration. Now, if you click on that, you'll see numerous um, possibilities. So don't be confused. If you have the new printer, it's a version 1.2.0, and there are three of those. Uh, one with resolution at 30 microns XY, 50 microns XY, and 70 microns XY. So we're going to go ahead and configure this one at 30 microns XY. And um, just note that if this is the first time that you've done this, uh, at this point when you select a configuration, you're going to get a box that pops up asking you if you want to actually update the firmware in your in your printer and you'll have to say yes. In fact, we'll go ahead and demonstrate that right now by selecting a, a different configuration. So it says, are you sure you wish to change configurations? New firmware may be uploaded. So I'll say OK. You'll get a box saying, updating the firmware, do not disconnect the printer. Uh, that'll take maybe 30 seconds to a minute to complete. Uh, what it's doing is it's, it's taking firmware that was installed on your uh, computer when you installed the software and putting that current version into your printer. Uh, when it's done, it says firmware upload complete, so you hit OK, and it takes a second to uh, recalculate everything, and now it shows the, uh, the current configuration. Um, I'm going to go ahead and select back to the correct one. I'm going to select the 1.2.0 machine, which is the new machine, at 30 microns because I want uh, the highest possible resolution uh, for the printing I'm going to do. So I'll select that. Once again, I get the same box. And once again, we get the uploading firmware as it switches back to the, uh, to the different configuration. And start back up again here. All right, so we have uh, COM port 8, which happens to be my printer. We've, we've selected the current configuration to be version 1.2.0 at 30 microns because we wanted that highest possible resolution. Uh, the firmware status window says that the current version v213 is installed. Uh, that version may change as we make improvements in the firmware, but that's the current version at this time. Uh, and it's giving me, uh, in configure resolution, configuration resolution, it's reminding me that I need a, uh, a projector that's configured to 1920 by 1080. Projector video port is highlighted in yellow because we haven't selected that yet. So I'll click the drop down box, and here I see that there are two displays to select from, and one of them is called the main display. Display ID 2 is actually the projector, which we saw earlier uh, when we configured the, uh, the operating system. So I'll go ahead and select that. The yellow box goes away. So uh, everything looks good here. There's no yellow boxes. Uh, we can say finished, and now you notice that the preview button has changed to say print, so we're all connected to the printer. One final thing we want to look at is the actual settings in, your, in this particular printer. So I'm going to click Settings, Printer Settings, and that's going to bring up uh, just a whole slew of numbers, which you don't really have to worry about at this point, but just to make sure that nothing got uh, changed during all the initial setup, I'm going to have you go ahead and click on Load Factory Defaults, and you'll see that there's some factory default numbers in here, and then click Save Values, and it saves those values. 
And that just ensures that you're starting uh, you know, from scratch with the default values for the machine. Uh, moving on, now that we have, con uh, you'll note now that the print button is, is, is actually a print button, uh, you also have some calibrations that can be performed, and we'll be talking about those here in just a few minutes.